So I believe in culinary diplomacy, and so I use Thanksgiving as my opportunity to share what American cuisine is all about, right? To people that are not used to it, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so you can knock the opinion that American cuisine is just hamburgers and hot dogs and like fast food. So today we're gonna do uh, turkey. Uh, it's my way of doing turkey uh, uh, that I've learned from the years of playing around with turkeys. Um, we're gonna do a carrot souffle which is another traditional dish um, that we use for Thanksgiving. Um, some people do the sweet potato souffle, but you also can do it with carrots. Um, and then I'm gonna do roasted potatoes, which have their, their, their ancestry or heritage from the British style, like roasted, you know, parboiled potatoes. Um, and then we're gonna, of course, pecan pie, right? And that's really American. They're parboiled. And so then we add in some olive oil to it, right? Uh, to give it some flavor. And so these herbs, a lot of these herbs are grown in my garden. So we have some, I have on the balcony, some fresh chives that I chopped up, right? Some parsley, we add in the parsley. It's all fresh herbs. Um, this is rosemary, so some fresh rosemary. Some dry oregano, which I have. And then this, is some sage that I have grown in my yard. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of white pepper to it. Um, add some white pepper. All right, so I add the red clay salt to it. All right. And then we're gonna mix it all up. Mix it all up together. We'll add about two to three tablespoons of butter. To it. All right, so that's all done, right? Not too hard. A little more black pepper. All right, and this fresh herbs, they do it on their own. So then I take a Pyrex dish and I will pour the mixture into the Pyrex dish. And this goes into an oven that is set at 350 degrees. So we're gonna mix, blend together the carrots. All right. And we'll add in our spices and our baking soda and the likes, right? And then we'll add in our sugar to it, um, the heavy cream to it, uh, the molasses. Now we'll put it back to blend. The carrot souffle is well blended. So we'll add the, the, this mixture. All right. Now we will add in the raisins. All right. That was about a cup of raisins. And now we can add in the flour mm -hmm. little by little. As you can see, our butter is melting with the sage. And so we'll finally approach the eggs. We have three eggs, which we'll beat up. I will remove sage from the dish. This is no longer needed. And now we add the butter to the mixture. And we'll add an egg. And let's just put this in the oven with the potatoes that are already cooking. So I just take the gray sod and sprinkle it on there. All right, All right. We'll take some of our white pepper. All right, and like I told you, I love her fresh. I love herbs, so we'll take some oregano, and we be, we're very generous with it, right? 
I love to use the herbs, right? And smoked paprika is different than regular paprika because it has a smoke taste to it and it smells awesome. So you add the smoked paprika to get a nice, beautiful color. All right. All right. And then we have some rubbed sage. And then, or you can get fresh sage, either one. Um, but you add the sage to it, right? So after that's done, let's put it inside of our oven bag. This is a 14 pound turkey, by the way. All right? And then we're gonna lock it in with all of our fresh herbs, right? And we'll add some garlic and we'll add some chopped up onion. Add a pinch of olive oil. We add our white wine. All right? And we wrap it up tight and we let this sit for two to three days. Then afterwards, we take the liquid out and use all the contents and put it directly into the oven and let it roast for two to three hours. <laughs> okay, so I don't watch, because like, I have to watch TV so much for work when I get here, but the one show I have to admit that I watch is like that 600 pound life. Oh my God. <laughs> 